So, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another loot anime create opening unboxing thing here on Pastiche of Skin. It's absolutely wonderful to see you again. Thank you so much for coming back. Look at this thing, it's gorgeous. Look at it. So happy to have it. See, the thing is, I was away for a couple of days. This arrived while I was away, so I have been sitting in hot anticipation to see what is inside this. I'm sure you already know. Don't ruin it for me. I want to tell you what I see. So, open. Okay. Right. T-shirt on the first. Of course, as always, let's go to the wide. Hi guys, long time no see, it's nice to see you again, thank you very much for coming back to the channel. I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves and seeing some stuff on here every single week. I think you should actually check back and make sure to subscribe to all of our other programs and other other ideas that we show here on the channel. Now, let's take a look at the t-shirt. White t-shirt, with Kill the Kill. Kill the Kill! This is a good show. Um, scantily clad ladies, fighting with scissors and big knives. Yeah, I don't mind that. One thing I don't really like, uh, I've commented before about uh, black t-shirts with a design on them that's really, really simple. I'm not a huge fan of white t-shirts either, mostly because I'm a big guy and big guys sweat and big guys sweat through white very easily. So I would actually wear this with something else underneath, probably like a rash guard or whatever else. But um, this is actually a nice shirt. Uh, kill a kill. It's got our main character here at the bottom. Cannot remember her name for the life of me. But I remember the blade. I know the scissor blade. That's pretty cool. Right, so. Do you guys not know Kill a Kill? You should be checking out up here for what a Kill a Kill actually is. I'll be playing it in the middle of the video, so you'll be able to hear the same tune and whatever else as we go through. But white t-shirts, um, not uh, I'm, I'm not angry about white t-shirts. I don't dislike white t-shirts. It's just the fact that uh, it's one of those things where uh, I have a reason why they don't go well on me. But I do tend to wear them, especially for work shirts and stuff. Like, like I don't mind getting paint or anything on a white t-shirt. Um, admittedly, this t-shirt will probably get reneged down to actually being like a, a workout or a relaxing kind of set about my ass t-shirt. It won't be joining my ranks of my three panel soul kind of stuff that I wear on a regular basis. But that's still a very nice shirt. I'm pleased with that. That's uh, enjoyable. You know, kill the kill. Good series. What the hell? Oh, I was about to say, is there another kill to kill in here? No, this is a gummy got kill. What is this? Okay. Oh, swords look cool on it, whatever it is. Let's bring it on here to the wide and take a look at the wider size of it. I'm almost sure this is a tote bag. Just just by the look of it. Let's see. Toot toot toot. Toot 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 toot. Not to toot my own horn, but um, I think I'm right. Let's see. Shopping bag. Yep, it's a wee tote bag. So, cool! Um, not exactly deep or big enough for what I would come to carry around with me, and I wouldn't carry that over my shoulder. You know, it's not exactly a design for the bigger man. But, um, a lady's tote bag, this is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I got me get killed. It's got a series of uh, different designs on the front of it. It's actually quite nice. I'll make sure to put it into the wee kind of like close up here because you can probably see it a bit better than in the wide shot. So, got me get killed. Got this mouse buster sorty kind of thing. Oh, but it looks like a pulse rifle, a halberd, scissors, and other things. Oh, I like that hand. That's kind of like claws and stuff. But yeah, that is a tote bag for the usage of anybody who wants it. Um, I may give this to a friend of mine rather than actually keeping it for myself. Or, you know what, it's kind of like one of those bits and pieces bags. Uh, if I had a bunch of cables or anything that are hanging around, just hang that from a door, slip everything inside, but keep my controller safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll do decoration, but um, not like my day-to-day -day functions kind of thing again. So, you know, it's like the first two things we've gotten here have not been, you know, uh, the most useful to me kind of things. They're not being the, um, the kind of things I would actually have sitting around my house and make use of them really right. Is that what I think it is? Nice! <laughs> it's a scouter from Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm assuming there's actually a green version. I assume there's multiple colors of it. Uh, do I want to keep that or do I want to open it? Ah, oh, screw it. No way. I'm actually opening the hell out of this. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Open. Open says me. Uh, okay. I have to check this out now. Um, wow. Okay, it's in three different parts. So maybe this might be something to actually keep for... Nope, it's not. Actually, it's really easily open. I was so worried it's going to be like that infinitely terrible plastic that will never ever open properly. So yeah, that's the sidebar of it here. 
This is actually quite nicely made. I thought it was going to be like really, really rickety plastic. This actually seems to be reasonably solid. Um. Cool. Right. Let's see. So headband. Um. I'm assuming this goes into the side. Yeah. That goes around that side. And this goes into there. Is it the front or the back? Okay, that looks abroad. Hmm. I'm sure I should have probably looked at the instructions before I tried to put this together. Does this come off? I don't know! I don't know! Oh wait, hang on, I had that completely wrong. That is actually what it looks like. And that goes into the top here. So that's actually the scatter. Vegeta, what's his power level? It's over 9,000! Hmm. Yeah. To be honest, everybody has to have done that line while wearing it. That's a Nappa voice. Hmm. I'm doing the smell test. Hmm. That smells Japanese. <laughs> well, I don't mean it smells Japanese, but it smells like it's traveled a fair distance. That's it. That bag may have had uh, steel air in it for a fairly long time because it actually makes the plastic smell a little bit. But that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I wear this for the rest of the video. Um, not too sure if it works really well with the glasses on at the same time, but uh, yeah, it's like scudder on the left eye. Is that the right side? All right, let's see what we got here in the box. Otherwise, um, ooh, okay. Well, we'll get the little thing out of the way. Is this? Uh, oh, this little anime pin or doodad? Well, it's not like really a pin. They don't do the pins in the um, anime boxes. They do these little charms, and I do like them. They're actually kind of cool. I like this one's a like equip or accessorize, so it's got a sword and a shield on the front of it. That's actually quite nice. Hmm. And... Oh my god. Oh my god. I miss these! Oh man, hi choose. These are fucking delicious! <laughs> like what I said before about the, um... The kar karipu or what karibu or whatever was the, uh, the little sugar cube balls that were in it. Uh, that's a traditional Japanese sweet. This is not a traditional Japanese sweet, uh, per se. But it's, um, a Japanese sweet that I haven't had in... Oh, so many years. Oh man. Oh, get these open. Haichu are a cross between Frutella, Opal Fruits, Chewits, and Starburst. <laughs> if people can think about those four combinations together. Oh, and it's also pretty much chewing gum too. So yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. The only problem is that these are cherry flavored. I've never been a cherry person. I've never been the kind of guy who actually really enjoys cherry flavored sweets or anything. So this is gonna be, um, Tasty? Well, uh, I'm looking forward to the texture, not the... Forget the taste, think of the texture. Forget the taste, think of the texture. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. It's super chewy. That's why they call it high chew. High chew because it's a high chew kind you're gonna have to have to swallow. Oh, man. Rose syrup, sugar, hydrogenated palm oil, gelatin, mustard acid, citric acid, natural artificial flavors, concentrated cherry juice, emulsifiers. Made in a velocity that also proves as milk and soybeans. Mm. Mm. Alright. Also, made into <laughs> made in Taiwan. Distributed by America. Okay, so these are American high chews. It's not um, Japanese high chews. These are uh, American high chews made in Thailand for American market. Right. Well, here, you can't get I can't be annoyed at that. That's TSC. Instead of them actually having to import stuff from Japan directly or whatever else. I'm okay with that. Hi choose, man. Highly recommend them. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What do you think now I've got that aftertaste of cherry? Not a fan. Not a fan. Hmm. Hang on. Let me just get a second to get rid of that. Oh good grief. Okay. On to the next thing. What is this? Hmm. So, this is a box. Okay. Rathalos Sword Pen Replica. Ooh, Monster Hunter. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, man. Let's get this out of the packet. Have we look? This is a pen, right? Ah! <laughs> this is actually pretty nice. So, it's actually got a wee kind of, um... Let me see. Can I open that up? Oh, please tell me I can screw that off. You bastards! 
Um, thinking I could have actually gotten the pen out of this and been able to change this and being able to um, reuse this pen, but it's a, essentially a disposable pen. But yeah, <laughs> big ass sword. Essentially, like it looks like it was taken off of a crab after it was done for maximum damage and then molded into a sword. But yeah, Monster Hunter, a game series I've never actually gotten into, uh, mostly because I don't have that sense of 100% uh, completionism whenever I play video games. I don't um, I don't play Dynasty Warriors Gundam to get 100%. I play Dynasty Warriors Gundam to play through the story modes and like one or two vehicles or weapons that I want to try through. Monster Hunter seems to be one of those games that you continue to perpetually play through just to get uh, better gear, better gear, better loot, better gear, better gear, better loot. And um, so it doesn't apply, it, it doesn't uh, interest me uh, as a game series, but it is huge in Japan. And I'm sure there's a fair amount of you guys that play it on uh, the DS. 3DS is the, mo the most popular platform for it, I think. I remembered back in the day whenever it was on uh, PlayStation as well, because I had it on the PS2. I don't know which one it was, though. I think it might be Monster Hunter... Uh, Try? Monster Hunter Try? Was it on the PS2? Eh. Uh, Try makes me think 3D, so it makes me think 3DS, but I'm not too sure. Right, what have we got in the box otherwise? Hmm. Okay. Steins Gate. Manga. It's always good to get a Tankabon in these books. I like Tankabons. Tankabons are cool. Um, so let's get Volume 1. Uh, unironically, I actually looked up, I've watched the uh, first couple of episodes of Steins Gate. It l reminds me of Lane by way of... Um, Lane by way of Excel Saga, by way of Terror and Resonance, by way of Perfect... Host? I don't know, there's like four or five different things going on there. It's a, a, ostensibly what I've figured out so far, before I even look at this book, it's about a guy who's a bit delusional, but believes in time travel and possibility that he actually is time traveling. And there's a few people around him who are being affected by it as well, including a girl who got killed and then appears to be alive. So, uh, I need to read through this. I'm, I'm sure I'll actually get more of an understanding of the, of the anime by reading just this first book. So this is pretty cool, uh, no matter what. I get these, I burn through them. I, what I need to do is sit down and start reviewing these individually, which I will do um, whenever I get the chance. I, I've got walls of manga to actually talk to you guys about, but um, most of the stuff is actually kind of things where it's unfinished series that I have, so I'd rather read and find the rest of them before I talk about them. But if you want to know about Steins Get More, um, make sure to give me a shout in the comments and the likes underneath and in the shares, because if you do, then I will know more. And what do we got next? We got, of course, our usual Loot Crate poster. Um, Loot Crate Anime has a poster instead of a notebook, if you haven't been following the videos and you don't know normally. So this one, of course, like I said before, is the Equip. And there you go, you can see the poster this time. Uh, a little, it's a bit darker than the last one. The, dark, the last one was a bit more pastel and kind of cheerier. Um, you see there's kind of like a panel slice at the top here, and at the bottom it's a standing view of um, I think that's actually the same character they've been really using from crit to crit with the girl in the Sailor Fuku, but um, I have to go back and look at the other ones to double check it. But yeah, on the back of it, of course, it has the list of everything that was meant to be in the box. Our exclusive equip phone charm. <laughs> that's pretty exclusive because they made it themselves. A Dragon Ball Z scouter, exclusive kill to kill t-shirt, Steins Gate Volume 1, a Haichu candy pack, and if the motherfuckers, if anybody else got anything other than cherry, I'd be fucking pissed off. I swear to God, because I that's it's like the one color, one flavor out of that five. Fruit chews, fruit chews, fruit chews, fruit chews. All right, no, that's a generic fucking uh, package cover on. Thankfully, well, it's just like, I, I wonder if they're just using generic art. They are it just says fruit chews. It doesn't say anything about flavor because these actually do say the goddamn flavor on them, do they? Nope, cherry. Yes, they do. Ah. If somebody else got green apple, I'd be so angry. Those are fucking delicious. I love the green apple ones. They're nice, nice and bitter and chewy. Uh, so yeah, we got the tote bag, the sword hunt, a monster hunter sword pen, and a few other things. That was our loot crate anime, or loot anime for uh, the month of January, February. Is this the February crate? I'm almost sure this must be the January crate. Um, it's one of those things where the scheduling on these are getting uh, a little bit annoying to keep track of. I know, I know what the crate's actually going to be. I know what the crate for February is for the main. It's um, Death, or Dead, because it's uh, Walking Dead and Deadpool. But um, I'm not too sure about what the anime crates actually... Uh, I can't remember what their schedule is, because they've already they've already been delayed on one of their crates. So whenever they got delayed on one of their crates, that's knocked their schedule off for others, I'm sure, for the rest of the year. Um, good God, this crate's actually the only one I've ever had that's actually got properly stuck together. There we go. Um... The company themselves, Loot Crate, have of course announced Loot, uh, Loot Gaming, 
which uh, will have its Founders Crate in March of this year, which means, uh, yes, I have signed up for it, and yes, you guys will be getting to see the Founder Crate whenever it arrives, and uh, I will, of course, be doing videos about that and its content, which is, of course, more expensive than some of these other crates, like the Anime Crate, uh, this is actually a cheaper crit than, say, I don't know, the, uh, the what do you call the one that comes from Hong Kong? That comes with the really badass figures. I can't remember. Uh, see, I don't even want to mention it unless I get the name wrong. But, uh, the gaming crit apparently is going to have a value of $60 or more uh, on every crit because that's what they want to do with it or something. <laughs> I don't know why I'm actually describing it in a weird way. That's it, they're making the, the gaming crit kind of almost like their premium crit that they're going to do monthly, which also implies to me that they will be doing video games inside the crates. Um, if they say it's going to be 60 plus dollars, I am expecting probably Steam codes. Steam codes and... But yeah, Steam codes and good old games codes and origin codes and uh, whatever else. Uh, Ubisoft, whatever the bloody hell they call theirs. I'm expecting game codes to be arriving with, uh, of course, the merchandise that they have in those boxes. So, um... I'm not too excited, but also not going to be disappointed by whatever the hell it is they put into them because the uh, the Grieving crates are going to be uh, bigger and better and badder than any of the crates they've done beforehand just by the pricing of them. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with their Founder Crate because it's uh, it's obviously going to be... Uh, they're going to try and do something big for their Founder Crate for gaming because it's kind of like... A, it's a, almost like a core crate unto itself. So guys, this has been the Equip Crate for Loot Anime. I hope you guys have had a really good time watching me unbox and talk about the content. I uh, hope you actually come back to the videos on a regular basis and I hope to see you again in the next video. So come back to Pass Your Skin, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to check out all the other stuff that I make. So until the next video, bye bye